Welcome once more to another episode of the Stone Whisperer. Now, today we're into game five of our arena run. We're currently sitting on two losses, sadly, and two wins. To be absolutely fair, I do tend to average around a three win mark, so well, here's hoping that we keep going. So, looking back on the deck, I think having the holy lights was definitely a problem. Really should have gone for something a bit more impact forward. It only delays the inevitable sometimes. Let's see, so everything else, I'm still fairly happy with the deck itself. But really, as I said, I made a mistake with those holy lights. But well, you learn when you learn sometimes, don't you? So, let's start and see what we end up with for game number five. So as we wait for the spinner to turn, um, I'll go. it's been in a blink quite quickly, fantastic. That makes life a little bit easier when we always can start a game correctly. So, I will endeavour to keep you guys informed about why I make each individual decision and certainly try and avoid any unnecessary noises or unnecessary silences. Now, as always, I don't like keeping cards above four mana unless it's for a specific use. So, we'll remove the Argent Commander and the Stampeding Kodo. Now, that leaves us with the Argent Protector and a Harvest Golem. We'll get two cards back and we'll be able to draw another one, so that stands me a good chance of getting something maybe a little bit better, but keeps our curve going. In fact, I ended up with probably a worse draw, but not a problem. So, why does our opponent do? Now, we have a choice we could do what's called a coin. do this, and that at least burns his two mana. Now, I think I actually made a mistake um, by doing that. I, I wasn't really thinking too well. Um, yeah, so that's okay though. Actually, I don't mind it. So, we can summon a little hoarder. And then go straight in for one damage. Now, the reason I've summoned the loot holder is to give him some extra bit of damage there. Now he should probably attack that time. Yeah, I've made a couple of mistakes there. But I'm not overly worried, so I'll play the Harvest Golem. That gives a counter to that now. It's a chance I will take 5 damage, but again, I can always heal that back up fairly quickly. And there's a chance that he won't have, uh, or he might have something to counter that, but it should be in good stead here. That's okay, I don't mind that too much. attack. I don't have anything directly to stop it so I'll just get rid of it as quickly as I can. See, I'm not too worried about the damage actually taken because I can heal that back up. Now, again that's a fairly tough card to play against so we have a couple of options here on how to do this. So one, two, three, four, five. So what we'll do is we'll summon that. We can then cast a Voodoo Healer to restore some health. And then we can use Argent Protector just to give a little bit more health there. 
so I don't know. Attack. Again, we take a little bit of damage there, but put someone in one health and unless he's got some area of effect and I think we're yeah, we're expecting that to happen, sort of, but not what we can do sometimes. Yeah, I don't mind them not too well, but the good news is I've just realised as well we've got actually the uh, blessings of might there, so that'll give us good bit of burst damage. We've got him at 26 health. Ideally, you want to get him down to well zero, isn't it really? So that's fine. So let's have a look here. We've got to be Sunwalker on six. That would use up all of our mana. We could also just do. Uh, quick bit of damage but I'll rather wait for the night blade so we get seven mana that would give us the night blade and uh silver and recruit and the hero power. So I'll go ahead and I'll play the Sunwalker and I'll end a the turn there and we'll see what happens. Now unless he's got a silence good stead here, she should take a bit of damage out of this. Let's see, so he's going to attack that. And I don't mind that, because he's actually managed to remove some of his own minions there. Custom two for my one. So drop those two as I said. That gives us down to 20 health and it's looking a little bit better than it was earlier, let's put it that way. Now let's see. What's he going to play? Now that is a bit of a tricky one. However, it's still not too bad because we've managed to get that. So how is the best option going forward? So we can we have six. Let's think how we do this. So we could get rid of Iron Bark Protector straight away. I don't want to leave 8 damage sitting there, so we can kill him without a doubt, but it puts me in a bit more of an awkward situation to be in as I'll be left with maybe a lack of minions here. So I'll tell you what, let's just summon that and then we can attack and charge and that'll let us remove it now, I hope he actually attacks the Argent Commander let's see what else he plays, he's going to attack out It just keeps my board a little bit. Let's see what he's going to do here. Now, I'll play that. I'll put a cult master down. I know he will actually attack the dark iron door onto that. Good move forward. Uh, we can hope. Let's heal up as well, anyway, while we're here. And then we'll move on. The it's starting to get a bit tricky now as we've entered into the later part of the game. Yep, so 
it's uh, looking a wee bit grim still, so he's got 10 damage on him next turn. I've got nothing to counter it, so it's not looking very good. Indeed, I think that assassin now pretty much a goner. So let's see if we can somehow salvage anything out of this. And I made a mistake there as I summoned that in the wrong order. That's not a problem though, it's one of those things I suppose. It's, uh, now that's good actually, as it gets rid of one taunt. I just need to try and hold out a little bit longer here. just heal ourselves again and hope that he attacks us. That does, that does. Um, so we're going to at least get rid of one of his minions. Here. So if he attacks me, or attacks me, that should go down to 18. So it's 14, 15 damage, I believe. I would be dead next turn. So let's just... Right, so... Hopefully he can't kill me, and hopefully he doesn't have any taunts. is, have I won? That's uh, 4 damage, 10 damage, 16 damage. Not quite enough, sadly. I will attack anyway. Only a couple of points short, and that's quite disappointing. Well, I let them know what we were thinking, though. Well played, sir. A couple of times you just snuck out of it for me, so I'll let him finish me off there, and uh, we'll see how we've done. Yeah, he's just tiring out the game. There's no point in tiring out. I mean, as I said, you could have finished me off earlier, so there you go. Well, guys, that's uh, been the end of our arena run. A little bit disappointing there. I made some bad choices, I think, actually drafting it. So, we only get two wins, which is a real shame. But it's, it's not the end of the world. I mean, certainly we'll still get some prizes out of it, so... Let's click and see what we get out the chest. So it's only two little parcels. One's a pack of cards and 45 gold. So that actually um, brings my gold total up. You can't see it down there, but it does bring my gold total up now to 150. So I can enter on a arena. So anyway guys, that's uh, been the end of this arena. There's uh, a chance I won't do one of these for a bit of time again, but 
hopefully it's uh, been fun to see and uh, we'll see how it goes going forward anyway. So thank you very much all for watching City in Iran. Hopefully it's been a, a bit of fun watching there. Uh, we didn't do too badly and we could have definitely done a lot worse. But I made some bad choices, as I said, making those cards, picking those cards up or whatever. But hey, you live and you learn. And if there is another one, then certainly I'll be doing a bit better, I think, back then. Well, thanks very much, everybody. You take care. Have a great day now. And as always, bye-bye.